Welcome. I'm going to talk today about dihydroxylation. There are two ways to making dihydroxylation. One is with osmium tetroxide in the presence of sodium bisulfite, and the other one is with potassium permanganate coal in the presence of sodium hydroxide. Um, the function of this reaction is to add one hydroxy group to each carbon on the alkene. And the addition occurs sin means, which means on the same side. All right. So for the, the hydroxylation, you're expecting to have uh, two hydroxy groups up or two hydroxy groups that are down. In this case, there is no chiral center. So um, the reaction uh, will not show this bond here as wedge or up. Likewise, this will not show as dash or down for that reason, because there's no chiral, chirality there. But if you can make chirality, this is what's going to happen. So for your dihydroxylation, um, we're going to establish one thing here, that electron-rich species always will attack electron-poor, or E+, plus, your electrophiles. So your nucleophile is your double bond alkene. That's going to attack one of the oxygens, which will act as an electrophile. So these electrons here will be transferred to the osmium. And these electrons here will break up the double bond and transfer to the oxygen. And they're going to then attack the alkene carbon there to make this cyclic osmate ester. Um, which uh, can this complex can be uh, broken up with sodium bisulfite and will give you the vicinal diol in the syn conformation. So in this case, you will get um, both hydroxy up or both hydroxy downs or uh, dash. But this compound is the same as that. If you flip it 180 degrees, um, you'll get the same product. Um, notice that here you have two chiral centers. And here too. But these chiral centers are offset by the fact that this molecule has a plane of symmetry. And if you have a plane of symmetry, both of these compounds are as known as meso. Therefore, um, it doesn't have chirality. It loses its chirality because of the plane of symmetry. Um, now, the osmium went from um, valence electrons uh, 8 plus to plus 6 um, to then um, to osmium in its um, natural state of zero. Um, all right, so let's see. Let's take a look at another example. Let's say you have a methyl group on the, uh, on the alkene. So what you're expecting is from this um, dihydroxylation is both hydroxy groups up, and this methyl now is going to be down. And both hydroxy down and the methyl being up. So as you can see, the answers will be A and C will be the, the right answers uh, of the two products that will be formed in this reaction. So permanganate is similar uh, to osmium tetroxide. Here you're using potassium permanganate in the presence of sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, but the reaction has to be cold. So again, the double bond alkene attacks, that's the nucleophile. These electrons are transferred here, and these electrons go from this oxygen to attack the other alkene carbon to form this intermediate, which is a, a manganese uh, 5. It went from manganese plus 7 to manganese 5 which then sodium hydroxide will break these two bonds to form the syn diol. 
um, and also you will form the one down, which is the same thing because it's meso. I have a plane of symmetry here, plane of symmetry here. If you flip, you get the same compound. Now, if you were to hit this reaction, if you had this reaction on hot, then you get a problem. You cleave the double bond on each end of the the, the, car, the alkene carbons. You're gonna put two um, carboxylic acids. Then, therefore, you form a dicarboxylic acid, which in some cases this will be undesirable. 